Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jonathan Gomez Ramos. I'm here at Check My ATQ, helping the guys and the girls who's gonna compete this week on the Abu Dhabi Grand Slam. The preparations has been very well. I think they they all like prepare and to go over there and then showcase. As you guys can see, we just finishing the training. I feel good and uh, I'm ready to this weekend and uh, I feel very strong and uh, fast and I'm uh, ready to this weekend. junto treinando com o pessoal de Abu Dhabi, né, o time do Ramon. Então hoje foi mais um ajuste mesmo. Hoje vai ter mais específico de situação da posição ali, depois você passa a guarda, o que acontece. E tentar abaixar o volume, porque tem competição já semana que vem. Sábado e domingo lá em Miami. Yeah, so I just got back uh, from Brazil. I was just training no gi most of the time, but a lot of people come here to Atos HQ, a lot of people from Abu Dhabi to get ready for Miami Grand Slam, so I just want to train with them, help them out and have a fun. Today is the third week that we arrive here in Davos, San Diego headquarters, and we have two plans. One group go to the Asian games in China, and then the other group go to the Miami Grand Slam. You know, the preparation was so good the last phase uh, before the competition. We are so happy. They improved a lot on me. Also, the mindset changed. When they stay beside the champions on me and the guys that are professional, living Jiu-Jitsu on me, use the Jiu-Jitsu as their lifestyle, change a lot of ideas in the mind. You know? And we are so happy. Just continue to step ahead, you know, to take our results. Expectations are always high. You know, uh, the training has been really good. Uh, we have the visitors here from UAE, you know, Professor Ramon, uh, uh, with his knowledge, you know, learning a lot, training with different people as well, a lot of attacks, so expectations are high. I'm gonna go there, give my best, and come with a victory. Jiu-Jitsu because my friend called me uh, for first I started doing Kung Fu uh, because this friend called me to, to start to train and then I trained Kung Fu for about one year and a half and then I started Jiu-Jitsu with uh, 16 to 17 years old.
Hi guys, I'm John Loreiro. I'm a head, head instructor with Johnny Faria in the Alliance San Diego. Uh, Felipe, uh, Leticia and Ricardo fight this weekend in the AJP in Miami. The guys training hard, the guys training so good, the guys on the shape for sure. And stay ready for a big show and see and enjoy, enjoy the guys. Us. About the, the GP, I think we're really good what they, they are doing in the Jiu-Jitsu community. They, they, they have a, the Abu Dhabi World Pro, like a big legion. Also the, the Grand Slam, the smaller tournaments, but and now the ADXC. So I think it's going to be like very good for the Jiu-Jitsu community. Ready for the tournament? The camp is being amazing. Uh, we never stop to train, so the camp like the whole year, you know. And my the last time that I fought the the Grand Slam was 2020 as a purple belt. So I'm really excited to be fighting as a black belt now. I train with my my wife Leticia Cardoso, and uh, it's very tough, you know, because I train with her. If she, if I beat her right here, she beat me at, at home. have been training a lot you know like uh, we, we our camp here is pretty much the whole year you know like but when we have those tournaments we focus more but uh, Felipe already came from came from the GP you know so he's already you know have been training a lot we just need like a, some little adjustments for the for the GP tour you know it's like uh, it's five minutes round so we change a little bit the training but overall he's doing great everybody is looking awesome and uh, I'm looking forward to see everybody competing this weekend. And uh, I'm training really hard to, to the Grand Slam Miami. Uh, for sure, I'm, I'm ready to, to do every fight over there. It's, uh, I know it's going to be a, a great fight with, uh, for example, Adam Waziz, is a possible match. Uh, I hope to, to meet him in the, in the final and let's do a great show. Here in San Diego, I, I like to, usually I, I start to train, uh, work out at 7.30 a.m. I train Jiu-Jitsu at 10 a.m. I teach a private every day. And uh, also, I teach kids and adult class at night. So my whole day is uh, inside the Jiu-Jitsu. So it's very good, it's a Jiu-Jitsu jiu -jitsu dream. <laughs> So right now I'm gonna start to, to do my lunch. I need to cut more more weight and also especially for the ADXC. Uh, I start like two weeks ago. I'm on weight for the Grand Slam, but I'm getting ready still for the ADXC. So I have <laughs> chicken and rice and water. This is the number four. I did uh, four liters today already of water, I have two more to, to finish. And let's do, this is the Jiu Jitsu lifestyle.
we are so excited. We are been doing like a crazy camp. We are doing a lot. So Cyborg is teaching us about the rules. We are doing just five minutes here working on the rules. So I'm so excited. This is my first competition on Black Belt. My bracket is crazy, it's on fire. So I will do probably three fights. My bracket, I have Giovanna Jara, Yara Soares, um, all heavy girls. So I think that I'm ready. I, I want to do it. In a couple of days, gonna be competing AGP Miami. Uh, super excited to be a part of it. Fighting here in my backyard. I'm a great fan of the work of AGP and how professional they are, how professional the event is. Um, every time there's AGP here in Miami, man, people can come from all over the world to come compete. A lot of people from Abu Dhabi, people from Brazil, people from the world come to compete, and that's amazing for the atmosphere that it brings to Miami. Um, about preparation, I always say that you have to prepare at all times. I'm always training gi, no gi, you know, so whenever they came the opportunity of actually competing here in my backyard, I'm always ready. And uh, man, I'm gonna have many tough guys on my bracket. Can't wait to get there and do the job. Today we're here in Hano Spa. Uh, I like to come here to do my recovery session. The job is done. Now it's time to recover. We have been training a lot for our AGP this weekend. So now I'm just gonna do five minutes in the cold plunge, just recover to activate my nervous system and get ready for the weekend. Check this out. I feel feels great, feels like feels like I feel strong. I feel I feel like I'm ready mentally. So I recommend for every jiu-jitsu athlete to try cold flush. It's gonna be the best thing, best thing for you guys. Between Train sessions, I like to come here to have some acai, you know, I'm Brazilian, this is my favorite food. This is the best place in Miami to have a, a really Brazilian acai. So I, I like to put some fruits, I have mango, strawberry, banana, a little bit of granola. Yeah, it give, gives give me a lot of energy too, so I feel like it's my best, it's the best meal for Jiu Jitsu at least. I don't need to make a weight so I can put a little bit of honey, you know? So that's the advantage to be a ultra heavy weight. <laughs> So Jiu Jitsu for me uh, was funny, right? Because I was into uh, weightlifting uh, at a gym back in my hometown in João Pessoa, Paraíba. And uh, in the second floor, they had those Jiu Jitsu mats and I would go there and see the, the, the training. So uh, one day I tried and I fell in love with Jiu Jitsu. Uh, did my first tournament with one month and got DQ in the final, but I did really good. So I was like, ah, I almost got it. So that pushed me to uh, keep going and eventually I decided uh, very young in a sense of like with less than a year practicing Jiu Jitsu I decided that I want to take this sport uh, as a professional. I 
now black belt. It's the highest level of the game. I've been dreaming of getting to this level and fight among the best. I feel that I, I am one of the best also, so uh, I can't wait for to see what the future holds. And AGP Grand Slam Miami is going to be a great test for me to see uh, what I can do in this new belt and new division. So Abu Dhabi was uh, so important for me, right? Uh, it's such a beautiful country and they, what they do with uh, Jiu Jitsu there is impressive. I, I have nothing but uh, gratitude for what they did for me in a sense of uh, the investment that they put in the athletes, you know, there. Uh, for those who don't know, they do uh, Jiu Jitsu very professionally. My routine here is pretty uh, solid, let's say like it doesn't change much, right? Between my day, uh, we wake up super early. Uh, Maggie wakes up around 4.30 in the morning. I wake up around five uh, and we go to the gym, we go to Champion Fit. And on the weekends, we basically just like go to the church, we uh, stay home a little bit, we go to the beach, go to the park, have a little bit of contact with the nature because Miami, it's beautiful. And that's it, it's a great lifestyle here in Miami. Like I love it, you know, it's, it's there is no, no better city to live. Uh, we're here at Champion Fit Miami, um, me and my wife's uh, strength and conditioning facility that we have here in Miami. And uh, as you guys can see, we have a couple of mats that we use for our own training, for our private classes, our group classes. So today, these last three days, we decided to do this open mat uh, to help whoever is in town. Olá, galera, eu sou Yara Soares, estou aqui em Miami para lutar mais um Grand Slam, né? É, depois de um ano passado das competições, agora que estou aqui de volta e logo pegar um Grand Slam de cara, é, eu estou muito feliz, é, sou muito grata né, por poder estar aqui mais um ano. Marcos Carrozino, second fight, Felipe Andrew, third fight. So it's gonna be good. Yeah. Yeah, one. Tough. Yeah. Yeah, one. This is our lunch. Maggie's gonna explain a little bit more of how we eat, how I eat, and especially this week that I'm cutting a little bit of weight and um, getting ready for this tournament. Yeah. So. Luckily, we're both cutting weight, but this is what it normally looks like. I like to make our lives easy since they're busy especially as athletes, so we order meal prep and then we kind of re-prep it and make it taste a little bit better. <laughs> the thing about being an athlete is you get to eat a lot. <laughs> I eat a lot, yeah. It's my wife, my coach, and my nutritionist also, so. I follow basically everything that she tells me uh, to do. Sometimes I don't and then she pulls my ear, but... <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
gateway and a lot of water. But, uh, I work, I dropped 7 kilos, so now time to recover. Hey guys, I just made the way the way game. Uh, it's gonna be my first time fight, fighting as a master one. I'm really excited. I can't wait to be there here tomorrow. Also, I'm gonna be competing Sunday as a tooth, right? Uh, I'll be competing uh, with my professor Cyber in the same division. I'm really excited about that also. Pesei ali agora 85. Ainda comer um pouco amanhã. Fazer uma força. Primeira vez competindo aqui em Miami. Já tinha visto para o seminário, mas primeira vez competindo aqui. Tinha uma energia aqui muito bom, bem parecido com o Brasil. Are you ready? Yeah, ready for the Grand Slam. We just got here yesterday and probably I got some water from the flight. Uh, but I feel okay today. I had to cut a couple hundred grams. Uh, on Saturday we got Masters. Uh, nice and tough division. Sunday, others uh, even better. And looking forward to those matches. I got some tough competitors in my bracket, so I'm happy to be back in the competition circuit and show my work. nele aqui, mas ele que me dá força. Here in Miami, Grand Slam came back. We have a record of uh, registrations. A lot of great black belts are going to be fighting tomorrow. And uh, today we have the amateurs, and the fights are really, really good this year and, uh, and amazing. It's harder. Um, I think being a coach is for sure like it's way harder because um, it's not only about you, you know, it's about your athletes. So you have to pass the confidence to your athletes, the trust, um, and you want your you want your your athlete to have a good result as well, right? Um, and you have to constantly analyze like the the athlete's performance, but. You know, when you have one athlete, it's one thing, but when you have like 10, 12, 20 athletes, it's way harder too, you know? Coach is 3,000 times harder for sure. Especially white belts, white belts, blue belts, man. It's a straight uh, roller coaster, right, of emotions. I'm right here, like, they should put black belts first, because, man, come on, by the time I fight, I'm gonna have no voice, no energy anymore. But hey, amazing, students are killing it, super happy to be here. Man, AGP is throwing an amazing event as always, super professional, clean, well organized. Thank you for coming to Miami. Peace. Poland is different, it's very alkaline. That's uh, what I can say, water in Poland is really bad and it's hard to find one in the US. But San Pellegrino is pretty okay. Yes. 
andar de roupa pra ficar no tamanho de gigante. Acabei de pesar aqui, galera, deu tudo certo. Amanhã eu tô aqui lutando, o Grandes Anos de Miami. Meu primeiro campeonato, eu tô estregando minha faixa preta e tô voltando de, da recuperação, né? É, tô muito feliz por poder estar aqui lutando. Creio que amanhã vai ser um grande dia, eu vou dar show pra vocês e é isso. Foi um pouco difícil, mas agora eu me sinto bem. E eu estou excitado para amanhã. Vai ser um bom dia. Só matches difíceis, you know, sabe? Amanhã e... Uh... Gonna have fun. <laughs> and thank you so much, AGP, for the structure. The event is beautiful, and I'm excited to to do my first fight here. much and I know what's best for me. <laughs> um, in my finals match I knew she was a tough girl but I knew that I have every right to be there on the mat and I put my blood, sweat and tears onto that mat. So um, I'm really I'm really happy and now that this is over I'll be back at Octus to HQ to be training tomorrow 6 a.m. I'll be there and you guys can see me at the ADXC soon. I think my mom is more is more serious. My dad is I think my mom is more of a professor and my dad is more like my dad. <laughs> okay, don't do that. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. My, I couldn't feel my hands after the match. I, when I jumped, I felt like I was gonna fly away. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. 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 Aquela que não é lutada. 
Let's go out of here. Por isso que o bichão é pesadíssimo, olha lá. Olha o bichão ali, tudo dele. Ah, cara de pau. Those guys are buying popcorn. Go, hey, that's the power. How are you, sir? I know, man. But he's filming right now. Ah, and Sprite. Popcorn. That, and look. Yeah. Good. Good. Take more. You good? Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys. não o que eu mais gosto e estou muito feliz aí de ter conquistado o meu segundo Grand Slam. O nome vai sair do Serasa! <risos> Number four <laughs> with Azinski. Man, he's a really tough opponent, you know. Maybe the the most uh, annoying guy because he never get tired, he keep the rhythm the, the whole fight. If we fight like 20, 20 minutes, we're gonna do the 20 minutes on the same pace. So it's very hard to, to fight with him. I have a, a lot of respect to him and I uh, hope to, to meet him in the future. Final agora. Vamos Final.
my backyard. I, I gotta defend my backyard, right? So nothing better. Come here, bro. Nothing better to do a final against this monster here. <laughs> we'll fight against each other since purple belt. I have a big respect for this guy. He's a hard worker. And yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> uh, not a big fight for us. Yes. For Thank you guys. That's it.